Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be for April 2021 for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for money and career only. Thank you. April 2021. What do we have for Aquarius in money and career only? Thank you. Aquarius in money and career only. Okay. Aquarius in money and career only, thank you. We've got the King of Coins. Germany, a Taurus for me as a reader, if it's a person, male or female, it's a general reading. It can also be your energy too. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, we have, oh, justice. And message for Aquarius, thank you. For money and career only, thank you, angels. Two cards. So we have unlimited ideas. Your mind is one of God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. And we have released jealousy. I mean, you know, there may be jealousy that could be to do with the justice that you're getting, either karmic justice, legal justice. Uh, jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and that the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. Um, there could be jealousy here. Interesting. Let's pull some cards, see what we get. Message for Aquarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. In money and career only. April 2021. So four of wands in the challenge position. What's going for you? Two of coins. Obstacles to overcome, the hanging man. Five of wands, coming out a lot this month, this card. Um, the advice from spirit. And your future outcome, love it, the knight of coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, Aquarius. Interesting energy. It feels like there's a person of influence this month in your life. It, it feels in this energy that you're being... It feels like you're being challenged in terms of, it feels like you're being challenged in terms of money, career, finances. The King of Coins, it feels in this energy, it might well be somebody who is offering you something this month. It can be uh, somebody who is a leader, who is very practical, very hands-on, very strategic as well, but who understands how to practically fulfill that strategy to bring success their way. You know, they, they have full um, appreciation of how to harness their practical abilities, knowledge, experience and focus to deliver material success with the King of Wands. So if it, I'm getting this energy that you're meeting a King of Wands this month. He can also represent um, stability, security, safety. So again, because there is an energy of feeling you, you're grappling with something this month, uh, something that has destabilized, it feels like your home family relationship. And I feel it's money and career that's affected that. It's caused some challenge in the, in the home family career. 
in, in the home family dynamic. And this can be about re-establishing the stability, uh, the security of that. So it's a great sign to have either way. Um, but I'm definitely getting this en energy of male or female. There is somebody who is of significant influence in bringing success your way this month. Maybe some kind of offer, opportunity, advice, call it what you will. Because we have the four of wands, but it's in the challenge position. This is the happy home. So the happy home is challenged this month. Um, it might well be something that you've already been experiencing from March going into April because, you know, we definitely have the stability, the four corners in the challenge position. So something has threatened the stability of your home, family, relationship. It, it, feels, it feels more to do with money and career affecting that. It does. Two of coins, Aquarius, yeah, juggling money, juggling money, um, having to deal with a lot on your plate and try and prioritise and focus and grapple with something that feels like any moment you're just going to drop a coin. But here's the thing, with the two of coins, you don't. The message is, even though it feels a little bit unruly to deal with right now or overwhelming this is within your practical capability to deal with and that's what you're being told so again there is definitely an energy of you have the power to harness your practical skills abilities knowledge know-how and focus to prioritize to multitask to deal with the things that you need to deal with in order to bring stability back into your life but it feels a bit overwhelming with this energy. And yet this person still manages to walk on a tightrope and juggle at the same time and not drop anything. So again, even though it feels like you, you know, it's too overwhelming, it's too much. This is saying you have everything that you need to deal with this situation. You are dealing with it just fine and will do. You were focusing on the right things. You were adapting in the right way, um, you know, that that is the recognition here to bring expansion and growth into your life because it's jupiterian energy the hanged man is what's what obstacles to overcome waiting the waiting waiting for something to play out yeah to find the not um, yeah the hanged man essentially here aquarius he hangs from the tree of, of knowledge he puts himself in a position of surrender in order to find, to wait for knowledge to come to him on how he needs to align to moving forward, how he needs to find the answer, the illumination on how to move forward, uh, find solutions. But it can be a card of waiting for things to play out. Yes, this can be also a card of new perspectives, but I'm just thinking there have been delays, you're feeling in limbo, you're grappling with something, it's challenged your home, maybe property, um, stability security uh per, you know in your in your home and you're just grappling with a situation and waiting for something to come your way the message when the hangman appears is things haven't quite aligned right yet so just wait you know uh, and trust because it will come and spirit recognizes this five of wands can be to do with competition let's clarify that Clarify the Five of Wands for Aquarius, please. Let's clarify this Five of Wands for Aquarius, please. Yeah. So I've got the Emperor reversed. Which is a card of lack of... It's, it's a feeling of, of not being in your power struggling to get things back in control and that queen of cups yes she can represent uh in terms of it's interesting yes she can talk about love romance relationships i mean you know this could be causing tension in terms of love romance relationships the situation just being out of control 
uh, feeling out of control, feeling that things are beyond your control. Yeah, it, the, the Emperor can be a card of chaos in the reverse position. Um, it just feels unruly. That Queen of Cups energy, it, it can be in somebody, again, it could be putting stress, tension in terms of love, romance, relationships, and that's what I'm feeling. So again, Aquarius, it, it just feels in this energy. This, this five of, of, of wands can be a card of um, conflict, can be a card of tension, tension in the home because of the situation, you know, things feeling out of control and this feeling of being in limbo, not understanding how or when you will be able to, you know, get things back under control. And it feels like you're trying to get things under control. You're trying to deal with the practical things that you can. And Spirit is telling you that you're doing just fine. But it can feel a little bit things are out of control. The Queen of Cups is also somebody who, male or female energy, is all about finding your flow. Uh, really connecting to your intuition and finding your flow. So again there's this feeling of conflict our tension and just trying to find your flow but the appearance of things feeling out of control right now difficult energy but hey here's the thing then we have the offer knight of coins knight of pentacles is the offer and it's interesting it's a virgo energy so it heals uh, helps you get back on track. So there is a sign and I'm definitely feeling it could well be from this, it could well be from this King of Coins because the night brings change. The night brings stability and security, uh, helps you find solid ground. He is, it can be a contract, it can be a new business, it can be to do with clients, it can also be job offers. Uh, but the Knight of Coins is is all of a sudden, and it can be something that, yeah, it, it suddenly appears, maybe after waiting a while, maybe after waiting a while, this is the change that you've been hoping for. It's absolutely beautiful. The Two of Coins, sorry, the Two of Swords, interesting, I was looking at that. The Two of Swords, Aquarius, is, it can be a card of feeling stuck. It can be a card of weighing up your options, but it can, it, like I said, it can be a card of feeling at an impasse. And the message is that there is definitely some kind of opportunity or offer. It might well be some weighing up or decision that you need to make in regard to this offer opportunity, but it is bringing stability and security back in your life. It feels very beautiful. And again, there's a feeling of justice, karmic justice. It can represent money coming your way if there's been some legal, um, if there's been some unfairness done this can be about some money coming your way. The Knight of Coins could represent that too, Aquarius. Um, but it definitely feels that a wrong is being righted. So any injustice that you've experienced because something has put tension in your home, your family, uh, your relationship, and you're grappling with something that feels very difficult, very big, um, to get under control. But Spirit is saying, just keep on prioritizing, doing what you're doing. Things need to play out and have needed to play out, but the long-awaited offer opportunity is coming your way. Yeah, so very beautiful, powerful energy. But it definitely feels like there's been some rocky period here. And it definitely feels like it's affected your relationship or home family significantly. But I feel for some of you, it's about to change. Okay, message for Aquarius, please. Message for Aquarius, thank you. Yes, you see? The cards, no. You know, we have field mouse success. 
believe in yourself and dare to dream big. And that is so important, that dare to dream big, because you are the big dreamer. You know, you understand to how to have the big vision. And the message is don't lose sight of that because there is some success. Yeah, lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.